It's a beautiful day in Europe, but not for everyone. The continent is facing a demographic crisis that could have serious consequences for its future. Europe's population is shrinking, aging, and becoming more diverse than ever before. But why is this happening? And what can be done to reverse the trend? In this video, we'll explore the causes and effects of Europe's population decline and how it compares to other regions of the world. Before we dive into the details, let's do a quick quiz. Which of these statements do you think is true? A, Europe has the highest population growth rate in the world. B, Europe has the lowest population growth rate in the world. C, Europe has the same population growth rate as the world average. Think about it for a few seconds and write your answer in the comments below. We'll reveal the correct answer at the end of the video. Europe's population growth rate is the lowest in the world, a stark reality underscored by the data from the CIA World Factbook, which revealed a 0.09% decrease in Europe's population in 2023, juxtaposed against the global population's significant 1.05% increase. This imbalance points to a concerning trend wherein Europe is experiencing a net loss in population, thereby diminishing its overall share on the global scale. This journey of population decline began decades ago. In 1950, Europe accounted for a robust 22% of the world's population. But by 2023, this number had plummeted to a mere 9.5% a drastic reduction. Distressingly, projections for 2100 forecast an even further drop, with Europe expected to represent a mere 6.8% of the global populace. The underlying causes of this demographic crisis can be traced back to two primary factors, low fertility rates and high mortality rates. Fertility rates, representing the average number of children a woman bears in her lifetime, hold pivotal importance in population dynamics. To sustain a stable population, a fertility rate of approximately 2.1 children per woman is considered necessary, termed as the replacement level. Nevertheless, a significant number of European nations are currently grappling with fertility rates that fall below this critical threshold. For instance, in 2023, the continent's average fertility rate stooped to a staggering 1.54, marking it as the lowest globally. This dropping fertility rate signals a troubling pattern where an insufficient number of infants are being born to counterbalance the aging populace. On the flip side, mortality in Europe also plays a pivotal role in this demographic downturn, notably among the elderly population. Despite boasting the highest life expectancy globally at 81.3 years, which is a testament to the region's advancements in healthcare and quality of life, it poses a double-edged sword. The longer lifespan has expedited the aging process of the population, resulting in a surge of deaths compared to births. The median age in Europe stood at 43.1 years in 2023, surpassing every other region in the world. This sobering statistic signifies that half of Europe's populace was aged beyond 43, highlighting the prevalence of an aging demographic. By way of comparison, Africa's median age stood at 19.8 years, revealing a stark contrast in population structures, while the global median age weighed in at 30.9 years, showcasing the remarkable divergence in age demographics across continents. Europe's population decline is a multifaceted issue that has far-reaching implications across various sectors, including the economy, society, and the environment. One of the key effects of this demographic trend is the gradual shrinking of the labor force, primarily due to the aging population. This demographic shift results in a dwindling number of individuals available to engage in the workforce, thereby leading to potential labor shortages, decreased productivity levels, and a general slowdown in economic growth. Notably, projections from the European Commission indicate a significant decline of approximately 19 million individuals in the working age population, 15, 64 years, within the EU between 2023 and 2050. Consequently, the imbalance between the diminishing workforce and the expanding retiree population poses challenges in sustaining social welfare systems, such as pensions and health care, as fewer active workers are left to support the increasing number of retirees. Moreover, the cultural landscape of Europe is undergoing transformation as a result of population changes driven by factors like immigration and integration. The influx of immigrants has contributed substantially to population growth within the continent, compensating for the persistently low birth rates. In fact, statistics reveal that as of 2023, approximately 10.5% of the EU population originated from outside the EU, with an additional 4.4% hailing from other EU nations. 
culminating in a foreign-born population segment of about 15%. This diversification has the potential to enrich European societies by introducing new perspectives, ideas, and skills. However, it also presents challenges related to fostering social cohesion, promoting successful integration, and ensuring security amidst cultural diversity. As Europe continues to evolve into a more culturally diverse region, the juxtaposition of varied traditions, languages, and lifestyles will undoubtedly shape the continent's collective identity and ethos over time. Furthermore, the declining population in Europe has a significant environmental impact, with the potential to bring about positive changes in resource consumption patterns and energy demands. As the population decreases, so does the overall strain on resources and energy consumption, leading to a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and environmental pollutants. This shift towards a more sustainable environmental footprint aligns with Europe's ambitious climate objectives and preservation of its natural ecosystems. Noteworthy progress has been made in this regard, as data from the European Environment Agency highlights a substantial 24% decrease in the EU's greenhouse gas emissions from 1990 to 2019. Looking ahead, projections suggest a continued downward trajectory in emissions by 2030 and onward to 2050 positioning Europe well on track to fulfill its commitments under the Paris Agreement and strive towards achieving climate neutrality by 2050. By embracing environmentally conscious practices and leveraging the demographic changes to promote sustainable lifestyles, Europe stands at the forefront of global efforts to combat climate change and safeguard the planet for future generations. Europe's population decline is a pressing issue that calls for proactive measures to reverse the trend and achieve sustainable growth. While it may seem like an insurmountable challenge, numerous viable solutions exist that can not only address the current demographic decline, but also create a more favorable environment for future generations. One of the key strategies to counter population decline is through a concerted effort to increase fertility rates. Governments have the opportunity to implement supportive policies that incentivize individuals to start families, including the provision of family benefits, accessible childcare options, generous parental leave allowances, and the promotion of flexible work arrangements. Moreover, promoting gender equality and empowering women are crucial components in encouraging higher birth rates as research consistently shows that women are more likely to have children when they have access to education, financial stability, and autonomy in decision-making. By fostering an environment that values family life and supports the aspirations of both men and women, countries can pave the way for a more robust population growth trajectory. Additionally, attracting immigration presents another viable avenue for offsetting population decline and injecting vitality into societies. By creating attractive opportunities and benefits for immigrants, particularly skilled and young individuals, governments can bolster their workforce, enrich cultural diversity, and stimulate economic growth. Offering pathways to visas, citizenship, education, and healthcare can serve as compelling incentives for immigrants to choose Europe as their new home. Equally important is the cultivation of a welcoming and inclusive environment that embraces newcomers and facilitates their integration into local communities. By fostering a sense of belonging and respect for diverse backgrounds, societies can harness the full potential of immigration as a catalyst for demographic revitalization. Moreover, adapting to the challenges posed by an aging population is essential for ensuring the long-term sustainability and well-being of European societies. Governments must enact reforms to pension and healthcare systems to address the needs of an increasingly older demographic in a financially responsible manner. By promoting active and healthy aging initiatives, policymakers can empower older individuals to remain engaged, productive, and valuable contributors to society. Encouraging lifelong learning opportunities, creating age-friendly environments, and providing access to quality healthcare services are crucial aspects of supporting the elder population and leveraging their experience and knowledge for the collective benefit of all. In conclusion, the complex issue of Europe's population decline demands a multifaceted approach that combines efforts to increase fertility rates, attract immigration, and adapt to the realities of an aging society. Through strategic planning, inclusive policies, and a commitment to fostering demographic resilience, European countries can chart a course towards a more prosperous and sustainable future for generations to come. As we have seen, 
There are many causes and effects of Europe's population decline and many possible solutions to address it. But what do you think? What is the best way to deal with Europe's population decline? The correct answer to the quiz is B. Europe has the lowest population growth rate in the world. Did you get it right? If so, congratulations. If not, don't worry, you can always learn more by watching our other videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.